Hello everyone. It is Monday, October 5th, 2020. Sunday is usually my day to do my comic book hot pick video, but I was unable to do that yesterday, so I thought I would take care of that today. And as I had stated in a previous video, for the month of October, we're going to talk about Halloween movies that are great for this month and books that either have a Halloween type storyline or a cover that would fall under a horror genre for the month of October, which is absolutely one of my favorite months of the year. Uh, so we'll jump right into the hot pick videos I have this week or the hot pick books I have for this week. Uh, first, we'll go to Image. Walking Dead Deluxe number one. Uh, there are six covers on this one, and this is a color version uh, of the Walking Dead story. So we'll see how that sells. Uh, you know, if you're a Walking Dead fan, grab the cover that you like. From Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man 49. Uh, it's supposed to be a special. I can't remember the exact reason this is a hot book. I just, I have so many different books on my mind. But there are 13 covers and a $10 price point. Now, I'm not going to buy any of them for the simple fact that I'm tired of paying $9.99 for a comic book because Marvel seems to do this a lot. DC seems to do this a lot. Yet somebody like Todd McFarlane and his Spawn book comes out at $2.99 every week without fail or, you know, every issue without fail. Uh, so I'm going to boycott the Amazing Spider-Man 49 issue. Uh, like I said, 13 covers and a $10 price point. That is your typical cash grab right there, and I'm not going to fall for it this time. Uh, next up, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 19. First cover appearance of the clone of Miles Morales. Of course, we know that book is smoking hot right now, uh, the Miles Morales first appearance. So if you want to get that book, pick those up. That is a, you know, technically a first appearance of the clone of Spider of Miles Morales on the cover. X-Force 13, which is the first cover of Solemn. A character in that storyline but the funny thing is in Wolverine number six which also comes out on Wednesday they have the first appearance of Solemn so you have the first appearance in Wolverine number six and you have the first cover appearance in X-Force number 13 so grab those if you would like and that is it for oh actually Thor number eight uh, has a beautiful Alex Ross cover Alex Ross has been doing a lot of covers this month or for the past few weeks for uh, Marvel books, and they're all fantastic. So if you want to get that, pick that one up. Uh, next up from Dynamite, Red Sonja number 20. There is a really nice B cover for that one there. Uh, from AWA, again, an uh, independent publisher that I really, really like, has a new book coming out called American Ronin. It's number one of a five-issue miniseries, so I'll definitely be on that one there. Source Point has No Heroine, number three. Just a storyline that I'm really enjoying, and if you're reading that one, I'd like to hear about that in the comments. Uh, Action Lab has a Betty Pet, has um, Zombie Tramp, number 74, cover F, as in Frank, has a, is kind of a Betty Page-ish homage uh, with the cover. So I'm gonna grab one of those just because of that. And then, of course, like we stated, uh, DC has Batman 100, which is the end of the Joker War storyline. And then we have a new story from DC Black, which is American Vampire number one. And there was a really nice B cover. It is a Bonnie and Clyde homage cover on that. So I'm definitely grabbing that and hoping that the story is going to be really, really good. So there were those. So again, Walking Dead Deluxe number one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 49, 13 covers, but a $9.99 price point I am not going to buy. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 19, first cover of the clone of Miles Morales. X-Force 13, first cover of Solemn. And Wolverine number 6, first appearance of Solemn. So I don't know how one can differentiate from the other because it's the same day they come out, but that's how they had it listed. Thor number eight has a really nice Alex Ross cover, and the storyline's been really good anyways. Uh, Red Sonja 20B cover, really nice. Uh, from AWA, American Ronin, number one of a five-part series. Source Point, No Heroin, number three, a story that I'm really enjoying. Action Lab, Zombie Tramp, number 74, cover F, is a Betty Page homage. And then DC, Batman, number 100, and American Vampire, number one, from DC Black Label, which I'm looking forward to. Really nice looking B cover, which is kind of a Bonnie and Clyde homage. So like we stated before, this is the month of October. Halloween is this month, end of the month, 31st. It is a Saturday and a full moon, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot, lot of action going on there. So we will jump right into four books that I picked out for this particular one. 
Every video I do, whether it be the comic book hot pick video or the new comic book pickups, I am going to show some Halloween themed or style books. First one, Crossed from Avatar. This is the Sleep Tight cover. This is limited to 2,500. There's that right there, little girl in bed, and it doesn't look like it's going to end very well for her. That screams the month of October. Uh, Archie, this is the Peepoy variant for Aftermath, number one. Right there, got some zombies going on. That's a good way to start it off, because one of the first movies I like to watch is usually uh, Night of the Living Dead, so we'll start off with a little zombie action right there. Uh, zombie Tramp number 16. This is an autographed version, but this is the Slasher Camp edition, and this is Zombie Tramp with the uh, Jason mask right there and his trusty machete. So that's perfect for Halloween. And then, of course, you can't get away from Halloween without having a Halloween storyline. The first death of Laurie Strode. Several covers on this. Really good story. Really nice covers on this. And this is the one I like because it has both Laurie Strode and Michael Myers there in the cover. So there was that. And then, <clears throat> finally, I was able to pick up a couple of new steel books from Best Buy. Uh, these are 4K editions of these movies. Now, I have tons of copies of these movies, but when stuff like this comes out, I'm going to grab it. This is also, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, it's real cheap, $14.99 for these. First one we have, of course, John Carpenter's Halloween. 4K transfer. This is the front. The back, of course, the scene right there where Lori is in her room looking out the window, sees Michael Myers in the yard next to her looking at her through the laundry. And the special commentaries on this, again, it is a 4K transfer. They also have a regular Blu-ray. It has audio commentary with both John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, the important thing about that is the fact that for years, Jamie Lee Curtis tried to get away from her or Scream Queen persona. She didn't like that because she was a good actress and she wanted to kind of, you know, stay on that mainstream. But ultimately, uh, she has embraced the fact that, hey, you know what? She is a tremendous impact in the horror genre. And so she started doing that. So she did a nice audio commentary on this. There's also a featurette, The Night She Came Home. And then an on location, 25 years later, featurette. I love that. Now, that was this was a re-release on that one because they had one for the 25th anniversary of Halloween where they go back to the filming locations, which is also a really, really good th deal. They also have um, TV version footage, which they added some versions uh, that they had, you know, to fill the time slots. Uh, TV trailers, TV spots, and radio spots. So really cool right there. Nice steel book. I love that. $14.99. You can't go wrong. The other one I bought for $14.99, Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 steel book. There's the steel book right there. Front and the back. And on this one here, you have audio commentary from Sam Raimi. And the producer and the star, Bruce Campbell, obviously. Now, Evil Dead 2, that's all there is for the Evil Dead version. Evil Dead 2 has a lot of things. Uh, Bloody and Groovy Baby, a, triv a tribute to Sam Raimi. Uh, audio commentary uh, with a, a ton of people. Uh, that's on the 4K Blu-ray. And then on the Just Blu-ray special feature, they have The Making of Evil Dead 2, Behind the Scenes of Evil Dead 2. Uh, revisiting the shooting locations. Now, if you don't know this, the area where they filmed Evil Dead, that cabin, there's parts of that cabin that are still sitting there. Uh, so they always go back and take a look at that. And then behind the screams, the gore uh, of Evil Dead uh, 1 and 2. So there was that right there. Really, really cool concept. So that's what we have. And as we move forward, like I said, Wednesday we'll do the new comic book um, video pickup. And I will show some more Halloween movies and some more comics as it relates to this part of the month, which I absolutely love. So again, uh, I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, if you do, give the video a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button with the little bell on the bottom. And again, uh, your positive comments or the comments that you make, it does mean a lot to me. It's the reason I do these videos because you know, you enjoy it and I enjoy doing them. So again, uh, if you have any suggestions for anything, leave a suggestion in the comments down below. And if you're reading No Heroin or any of the books that I mentioned, or if you've picked up any of the books that I mentioned on the comic book hot pick uh, videos, I'd like to know about it. Because like I said, 
uh, just kind of, you know, gives me a little bit of reinforcement to keep doing these videos. So that's pretty much all we have. So I hope you liked the video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great, great day. Hope you find your books this week. Happy hunting, and I'll see you in a few days.